Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Content Buddy to quickly add content to your post. So if we jump over here and we look at Content Buddy actually installed on a site, this is actually, uh, as you can see, it's running on the .com report. If we look over here, we'll see where Content Buddy is running over here on the right side. Now, if you have it set to HTML, you'll see that it, it won't work. See, visual, the visual tab must be enabled. So we make sure it's on visual, first of all. Now it'll work. And it's really simple. You just enter in something in, in this box. And just to keep it uh, easy here, I'll just type in Google. Okay. And then you can pick the source that you want content from. Well, let's just leave it for all. So we'll do a quick all text here. So we'll do a quick search. And then just like that, it's returned some results for us. So when you want to move the, the content from this section into your editor area, all you do is you click, hold it down, and then you drag it over. And you can see the little box underneath the cursor that tells you that it's actually been connected. And then when I let go, it's added. So it's very simple. You click, you, um, you do a let, you click with your on the left side of your mouse, just like you're clicking on a link or anything else, you click and you hold it down. While you're holding it down, then you drag it over and drop. Click, hold, drag it over, and drop. It's very simple. Now, you could also do a, I'll show you something different with like YouTube for a second. If I click on go, it's going to give me just YouTube. So no other results because I didn't ask to include those. So now it's it's the same way. I can drag, click and hold. You can see it's attached. See that? And when I let go, it's automatically embedded here. Now if I wanted to actually watch this video, I can double click on the video. So if I double click on it, it opens up the video in a new browser. Let me move it in here so you can see. So you could watch the video. So obviously you want to double click and kind of check out the video before you drag it and drop it in. So once you go through here, you can just click, hold it down, drag it over, and drop. Now, you notice that it's not showing you the video in the, in the view here, because the way WordPress works is all you have to do is embed the link and it'll play the video for you. So um, that's how you do text up here. And that's how you do the video. But let's look at images. Images are really easy. Uh, where am I? Oh, let's say Google Images. No other results because we're just doing the images. So we could click. I'm holding it down, dragging it over, and dropping. Now I'll show you it, it pulled it right over there. See that? Let me get up here where you can see another one. Click, drag it over, and drop. See that? Click, drag it over, and drop. Now, if you look here, you'll notice that what's happened is we're dragging and dropping. It's adding to the images provided by. If I delete this image, oops, if I delete the image, you see now the source of the image is actually gone. If I delete this image, see now it automatically updates the source of the image. So the key thing here though when you're dragging and dropping is you click and hold, you drag, then you let go. That's the key to having it, having it work correctly. So in another video I'll, I'll go a little bit more in details regarding some of the settings but it works the same. Actually you know what I'll do, I'll show you a, um, a Twitter real fast. Let me click the go button. Okay, so same thing here with Twitter. Let me uh, create a little sp space so you can see what's happening. Same thing with Twitter. I could click, drag, I'm holding it down, drag it over, and drop. Super easy. Click hold and drop. Now you'll notice what we've done is we're including the gravatar of the of the Twitter profile. So uh, I hope that uh, helps, and I hope you understand a little bit more clearly about how to add content to the post. I'll show you in another video a little bit about the other settings that are involved in Content Buddy.
Thanks a lot.